Hi guys, Misty here. Welcome back for another episode of Color Your World with Diamond Painting along with me. I'm going to be diamond painting today, so if you want to get a diamond painting out and paint along with me or um, grab a cup of coffee or tea or whatever, I did want to show you guys that in my last video that I talked about changing up my trays so now I have it A to Z and then I have the lowercase ones and then I have 0 through 9 and then I have all of the symbols I have most of the main symbols like at sign equal sign plus sign those common ones um I have all those ones first and then the ones that are like um, a mouse pad, like a my computer or Windows logo. Um, I have those all on the end because those are not so common. So that I can actually diamond paint faster because now I'm able to know right where the color is that I need. So it definitely helps and it doesn't matter what order those ones end up in honestly for me because I will be able to um, move them around and you know if it doesn't get put directly back it's not really that big of a deal. So I got a new magnet that I, whoopsie, I got a new magnet that I placed on my table, um, and it's right underneath there, um, which is the section I'm working on, which really is unfortunate, because I don't want, I don't want it to be, yeah, above it's fine. Um, it needs to go a little lower. Oops. Now I did it. <laughs> Darn it. Um. Yeah, I just need... Um. I didn't really want to put this directly on the diamonds, but... It's not very strong with the diamonds in between, unfortunately. All right, sorry about that. My sister called and I had a couple different phone calls all at the same time. So they, oh, loady, loady, loady. I forgot. I just had a couple different phone calls going on. So um so my son 
has been approved for the genetics testing. And they called to tell me that they're ordering it now so you can go have it done at any time. Um, you know, all that good stuff, so. Um, I don't remember where I left off in my other video, so while I was off screen, I ended up getting some more of number seven because I don't know if I'm going to run out or not, but, um, it's the one I'm running low on. So, I figured I might as well... I might as well replenish it while I was up. So. My sister called also to talk about trivia question and you know I've seen all the movies that we come up with a lot of them I've seen but it's amazing to me of the, some of the stuff that you can remember and some of the stuff that you just forget like especially when you're on a on a time crunch sometimes it's really hard to um come up with the answers you may um you may have seen the movie a thousand times and forget a character's name <laughs> uh, like twilight's my favorite movie but when I'm on the spot, I forget, like, all of the character names, I forget all of the actors' names that played in the movie, and it's all movie trivia, so. So, it, it, you know, it gets really hard to remember some of the stuff. Oops. Um, but yeah, um... You would think, as obsessed as I was with Twilight, that I would remember those things, like the back of my hand, but no. <laughs> so, even on the spot. I mean, my other, I have, I have several favorite movies, but Pride and Prejudice, you know, and sometimes it's hard to come up with the, the names on the spot so but it's pretty fun um my husband doesn't like to lose though so sometimes I'll get mad at him because he's like sometimes being a poor sport about things because my sister and my niece, they are like movie buffs. They love to watch movies. They watch movies all the time. Um, like, day in and day out. Like, that's, that's their favorite thing to do is to watch TV, watch movies, watch whatever. That's how they spend time together. So, um... So they, they, they watch a lot of movies. My, my niece is a horror movie buff, so, um, which I, I like some horror movies. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street was my favorite horror movie when I was five. I could recite every line in the movie at five years old. Um, my sister and I would sit and um, 
you know, my sister's 13 years older than me, so we would sit and recite lines from the movie. My sister always got me doing crazy stuff, though. She, she'd have me sing. She'd have me recite lines to movies. Um, she would, she would pretend to be Freddy and scare the living bejesus out of me, though. And she, like, she had long nails. And she would, like, start pretending to scratch herself and scare the living daylights out of me. I mean, I was five. <laughs> so, I'm like, oh my god. And she would talk like Freddy and scare me. And usually she'd scare me so that I wouldn't want to go. Because I'd be like, I want to go home now. Because she liked to hang out at the park across the street from our house. Um, you know, because she was a teenager and um, I was five. So she's 13 years older than me. So she was 18 at the time. So she wanted to go hang out at the park and hang out with her friends who hung out over there and I, you know, would get bored or whatever and uh, I'd be like, I want to go home, but she didn't want to go home yet because she wanted to stay over and, and hang out with her friends. So she'd start pretending like she was Freddy Krueger or, um, or whatever. So she had this dog. Um, we found a stray dog and she trained the dog to go up and down the slides at the park and the dog loved to play on the slides and um and then I would get mad and go I'm going home and I would start stomping off she'd send the dog after me that dog would grab my diaper or my underwear, my pants, or whatever. I was five, so I wasn't wearing a diaper. But, anyway, the dog would grab me by my shirt or my pants or whatever it could. And it would, dra and it would try to drag me back, my sister. And the dog was like, yeah, it was a puppy, so... Um, but, you know, I was a skinny little twig at the time. Like, um, so the dog would knock me down and try to drag me back. <laughs> we always ended up with stray, stray animals, no matter where they came from. Um, so I was the guinea pig of the family. They would say, Misty. Tell mom you want this dog. And then, or this cat, or whatever, whatever it was, it didn't matter. Um, if it ended up in our, our yard, it was a stray. Um, and um, I would, Mom, I want this dog. And she'd say, No. And I would, Mom. And I would just cry. And my mom would be like, Fine. So, I pretty much got anything I wanted, um, because I was the youngest, and my mom didn't want to hear me cry, so I pretty much always got what I wanted, and they, the, uh, older siblings, they all knew that, so they knew if they wanted something, all they had to do was talk me into it, <laughs> and they would be able to keep whatever it was. Um, but we always, like, we always ended up with stray animals. We, like, always. That's how we ended up with all of our animals, pretty much. They were all strays that wandered into our yard and never left. So, um... This uh, one time, this big old 
Great Dane wandered into our yard and uh, we called him Goliath. <laughs> and um, he ended up biting the neighbor dog. Not the neighbor dog, sorry, the neighbor. Um, because the dog had like arthritis in its um, back paws and its paws and stuff, and its leg. And the neighbor saw it, it got out of our, our yard or something, and the neighbor hit it with his cane, and the dog bit him because he, um, because he hit him with the cane. So animal control came to our house. My mom's like, the dog's not ours. It's, it's a stray. So they ended up taking the dog away. I was super mad. I remember I was crying my eyes out. Cause I was like, that, he hit the dog. Why should the dog be punished? Because he got hit. I'd bite him too if he hit me. And he was like this mean old man. Anytime um, my friend and I would walk past his house, he would yell at us. And so he was just a mean old grouchy old man. I would have bit him too if he hit me with a cane. <laughs> so... I was very upset, but they were, my mom's like, there's nothing I can do about it. It's not even our dog. They could sue us for it, and it's not even our dog. So... My other childhood best friend, I, I barely get to talk to her. Um, She's an introvert, so she'll message me every now and then. She's like antisocial for sure. Like, no Instagram, no Facebook, none of that stuff. Um, and she tries to pretty much keep to herself. And she'll message me happy birthday on my birthday or. You know, whatever. Um, but her and I, um, we were friends since I was in the third grade. She was in the second grade. So uh, we grew up together. I went through a lot of stuff between our families and stuff. So, um, but, um, what well, actually it um her boyfriend put a strain on our on our on our friendship because she met him online um it was the only social thing that i've ever seen her do but um she didn't know him um she had not met him and her parents were pretty irresponsible druggies and you know like people so um, I was the one looking out for her all the time, so I was not okay with this guy coming over and sleeping in her, on her floor, in her room, and, you know, all these things, and, um, I wasn't her parent, but I was her best friend, and while her, um, parents would be out doing whatever, I made sure that she ate and her brothers ate and that her brothers were taken care of and you know what not but um so it was hard for me to see her um basically like trust this person that she's never even met um 
she, cause she let him like fly to her house or whatever, like fly in, I think, or drive in. I can't remember, but I'm like, you don't even know him. You, you've never met him in person. You don't know if he's a weirdo or not. Um, because I think they met on like AOL back when AOL was still a thing. So, but he's a, he is a good guy. Um, but you know, at the time I was thinking I was doing what was best for her and because I disapproved of it, it put a strain on our friendship. Um, but she's still with that guy. <laughs> And they met, um, she met him, I think when she was a junior in high school, so maybe a sophomore, I can't remember, it's been a while, but you know, her parents never really, they gave a crap, so it was hard. I think that's all the quiet time I'm going to get today. I'm going to finish this on my video um, my time last video so at the end um, of this video make sure you continue to watch for the progress I got about halfway done uh, which I would have got more done if my sister didn't call in the middle of me recording but you know life happens so Thanks for watching. Bye guys.
Bye guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content.